<laughs> Hello, listeners, and welcome back to Dead Air. I have a riddle for you. What does a woman, a noose, and a murdered mother-in-law have in common? Hmm? Give up? Don't worry. Tonight's bone-chilling tale will answer it for you. So turn off the lights, lock your doors, and hunker down for tonight's traumatic performance of A Knock at the Door. Afraid to die? Who is it? When I was a kid, I used to wake up in the middle of the night and see the dark pressing all around me and I'd get so scared. I tried to scream. I couldn't. My voice, I I know I was dead. I know it. I'd throw off the covers and I'd cry out, Mother! Mother! Why? Why did I yell out like that? Why? Why? Why should I be scared now? I want to die. I've got to die. It's cold in here, in the basement. I wonder if the grave is cold. Why don't I get it over with? The rope's around my neck. One step off the ladder and I'll hang and die. And I've got to die. I've got to die. The wages of sin are death. The wages wages of sin sin are are death. death. Uh, Funny. Uh, How I seem to hear the words. The way my father used to say them. The wages of sin... But was it sin? (sighs) No. No, it was hate. I killed her because I hated her. I remember the first time we'd met. Jay had just married me and we were walking along the street to her house. Oh, Ella, you'll like my ma. Really, you will. Will I? Sure, she's great. The best woman in the world. Hmm. Is she? I mean, well, you're my wife now, Ella. That proves what I think of you, don't it? I guess it does. You and Ma get along fine. (laughs) Will this be a surprise to her? Well, here's the house. What do you think of it? It's... it's... all right. Well, in we go. (laughs) Oh, will Ma's eyes pop when she sees you? Oh, pop right out. I'll bet ya. Oh, come on, Ma. Open up. I got a surprise for ya. Jay, where have you been, dear? Where? Uh, oh! Jay, you've brought home a woman. Surprised, eh, Ma? Meet Ella. When she said it that way, right from the minute I knew, I hated her. And that's the way it was from then on. I wasn't Jay's wife to her, but a woman. A stranger in her house. (laughs) And it was her house. And everything in it. Nothing Jay's, everything hers. Ma, can I use your car to take Ella riding? Ma, mind if Ella plants some roses in your garden? Ma, is it alright if Ella uses some of your towels to make covers for the That's the way it was. Hers, hers, everything hers. All I had was Jay. And she wasn't much. You can't blame me. You hear me? You can't blame me for not standing it. All my life I had nothing. And at last I was married, 
and I still had nothing. Her house, her car, her money, her daughter. I couldn't stand it, I tell you. So, I killed her. The wages of sin are death. Why do I keep hearing Pa's voice in my head? I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to do it. It's just that I want to sit here on top of the ladder and think and talk about everything for a little while. It's the last chance I'll get. So, like I said, I killed her. Oh, not right away. I stood for it for weeks and months. But all that time inside of me, something was talking. Kill her. At first, soft-like. Kill her. And then louder. And louder. Until my head was filled with it. Kill her. Louder and louder until I couldn't stand it no more. Louder and louder until I said yes. I'll do it. Yes. (sighs) Yes. Everything will be mine then. Everything. I wanted it that way. It had to be that way. Here, in this basement, that's where it all happened. Jay went to work. I came down here. (laughs) Oh, it wasn't very hard to do what I had to do. I remember every minute of it so well. Every minute. I called her, and she came down into the basement. You called me, Ella. Yes, I called you. What's the matter? Somebody took the lid off the sewer down here. Land shakes alive. Now who could have done that? Heavy iron cover like that? Jay wouldn't have done it. It's deep down there. Of course it's deep. Isn't a sewer anyway. Covers an old well this building was built over. Oh! What are you owing about? I heard Jay telling you the same thing weeks ago. Yes, she did tell me. (laughs) Oh, funny. I forgot. Oh, look! What? Down in the well! Look! I I don't see nothing. (gasps) What? Isn't it, Ma? (laughs) Ma, you're well. Everything yours. (laughs) So stay in it. Stay in it, Mama. Stay in it. You're well, Mama. (laughs) But everything is mine now. (laughs) Everything. Mine. Mine. (laughs) And that's the way it was. Easy. Too easy. (laughs) Jay came home. Say, Ella, where's Ma? I don't know. She wasn't here when I got back from the store. Must have gone out. Oh. Well, she'll be back. Leave it to Ma. (laughs) But she didn't come back. How could she? (laughs) Jay went to the police. They came around, they asked questions, they went on their way. (laughs) Oh, and nothing happened. It was as easy as that. Why do I keep hearing that voice in my head? Why? Why? (sighs) I'm gonna die. The rope around my neck. Just a little bit longer of talking. Just a little. Hmm. She... She was gone, and I had her house. And her daughter. And then I didn't want her. Always talking about her mama. Morning and night. Mama this, and Mama that. Mama always did this this way, and that way. 
I tell you, she made me sick just to look at her. Mama, mama. I wanted to forget. 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 And how could I forget with her lips saying, Mama, mama, mama. <sighs> and then, one day, I got an idea. There was more room under the iron lid in the basement, wasn't there? Hmm. That was it. Yes, that was it. Got free of her. Now, I'll get free of Jay. Sell the house quick. Get out, away, far away. Yes, that was it. A free woman. With my looks and all that money, <laughs> wouldn't I have a time? I planned everything. Told the neighbors Jay was going on a trip. <laughs> yeah, a long trip. Give me time to sell everything. Oh, I planned good. I'd say Jay written me to sell the place and join her out of town. Oh, I tell you, it was perfect. She came home that night. <laughs> that night that I was gonna let her join her mama. Anybody home? I'm always home. <laughs> you said that just like mama used to. Did I? Say, that reminds me. I got a new detective agency working on the case. They think that maybe she lost her memory somehow. You know, like how you read about. Like... All right, all right. But, Ella, sit down and eat your supper. Want it to get cold? Don't see why you don't want to talk about finding Mama. After all... Sit down and eat your supper. You'll find your Mama. You think so, Ella? Sure. Say, that's good hearing you say that. Finding my Ma, that's something I'd sure like to do. We sat down to eat. I made her a good supper. Why not? Her last supper. And then... It happened. We were sitting there eating, when there was a knocking at the door. Now who could that be? How should I know? Get up and answer it. Yeah. Nobody here. Huh? Nobody here. Then shut the door and come on back and finish your supper. Funny, I heard knock and plain, didn't you? <sighs> Kids playing jokes. Go on, eat. I want you to help me fix something in the basement. Fix what? You'll see. Finish eating first. Okay. Those crazy kids. I'll... No. Sit where you are. I'll go and... Ella, wait. Wait for what? Listen, that knocking... How funny it sounds. Those kids. But it's... It's from the basement door. No. Well, I'd better go see who's... No. No, Jay. Don't open that door. Don't, I tell ya. Don't see why not. Somebody knocking. I gotta see. Jay, leave the door closed. Why? What's the matter with you? I gotta open it. Gotta see. No, Jay! <gasps> no! Oh, no. Mama. Mama! <sighs> yeah, it was her, all right. There she was. Eyes glaring, dirty gray old hair plastered wet around her face, standing there. I could see her with my own eyes. And yet, she was dead, I tell you. Dead, dead, dead. J Jay didn't know that. No. She took that dead thing by the arm and, and she led her into the room and sat her down in the chair. Oh, Mama. Mama, you did come back. I knew you would. We both knew it, didn't we, Ella? Now, tell us, Mama, where have you been? And why did you go? Yeah, and why come back this funny way, the back way up the basement steps? Why, Mama? I... Uh, I... Oh, Mama, you're sick. 
Oh, Ella, look, she's dripping wet. And it ain't rained in days. Ella, quick, take her upstairs and put her to bed. Yeah, and maybe you'd better stay with her tonight. Keep her warm. Ella, why are you looking so funny? Ella, you fainted! Ella, why did you faint? Why? Sure, I fainted. Me sleep with that? Me keep that warm? Oh, oh no! I didn't wake up until the next morning. Jay was leaving for work. She told me her ma was sleeping in her room to take good care of her when she woke up. Then she went away, happy her mama was back. When Jay was gone, I sat down in the kitchen and waited. I waited a long time, listening, listening. The clock hands crawled slow around and around, but there was only the sound of ticking. Nothing from upstairs, nothing from her. It got on to five. Soon she'd be coming home. I had to know. I tell you, I had to. I went upstairs. To her room. I opened the door. Oh, huh. Nobody there. The bed not even slept in. <laughs> She'd never been there, never. I dreamed it. Jay dreamed it. Oh, she wasn't there. She hadn't come home. Oh, but I had to be sure. I went down into the basement. I pried open the iron lid. There was the open well. I lit a lantern and held it in the black hole. I looked in it. She was there, floating in the water like a... Big, fat, ugh, ugh. but she was there. That's all that mattered. I piled things over the lid to hold it down. An old truck, boxes, heavy things. That's what I did. Jay came home after a while. How's Mama? All right. Call her down to dinner, will ya? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's what I said. I knew Mama was all right, where she was. <laughs> we sat down to dinner. She kept talking about her Mama, how funny it was that she was still sleeping, how funny it was the way she came back. But all that time, I was laughing inside myself because I knew what had happened was just a strange dream we both had. <laughs> because she was dead, dead and floating. We sat there eating. I felt good. A bad dream ended for this night. Jay would join her mama, swimming. <laughs> and then, just like the night before, it happened. Say, now who in the world's that? And, and it's the basement door again? Now what in the... Mama! You? <laughs> yeah, I screamed. What good was that? There she was again, the water dripping down off her face and, and clothes and puddling on the floor, and this time I knew it was no dream. <sighs> she came into the room. She sat down on the chair, Jay talking and talking all the time, not understanding yet, thinking that she wandered out again. No, she didn't understand. She thought the wet on her face was from the rain that was falling outside. She didn't see the way that I saw that the flesh on her face was... Ugh. Mama, Mama, you should never have sneaked out on a night like this. Now to bed with you. In the morning, I'll call the doctor. 
Ella, you take Mama upstairs to bed. And this time, be sure you stay with her. You know how scared she is of thunder. Go on now, she's soaked to the skin. I just sat there. I tell you, I couldn't move. Thinking of going upstairs with her. Being in the same room with her. It froze me to my chair. No. Come to think of it, I'll go fetch the doctor right now. Can't take any more chances. Ella, you take Mama right upstairs and put her to bed. Lie down with her. Keep her warm till I got back with Doc Williams. Then she was gone. Gone. After the doctor. I sat there, the flesh crawling. The doctor'd come and he'd see that she was dead. Dead a long time. He'd be sure to see it the way I saw it. Dead and bloated from the water and sitting there staring at me. <sighs> How long we sat there looking at each other, I don't know. And then her lips moved and it was like cold wind. My daughter said to put me to bed. That's what she said. My daughter said to put me to bed. And then I understood the whole thing. She'd come back from the dead to keep me from killing Jay. And and she wanted me along upstairs to... to no, I wouldn't do it. I sat there without moving. Her lips moved again. She said to keep me warm. Come upstairs, Ella, to keep me warm. Me? Keeping that thing warm? Her wet, cold, dripping skin? Oh, no! I wouldn't do it! She thought she'd make me crazy that way, hold me in her bony arms until the sense in me ran out the way the well water was running out of her. Make me crazy. Crazy? Something to be locked away like they locked my own mother away. Crazy. 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 <laughs> no, that wouldn't happen to me. She, she wouldn't make me crazy. Not me. I, I got to my feet. I turned quick before she could stop me. The basement door. I locked it behind me. I ran down the basement steps. Oh, I knew how to cheat her. The sure way. The only way. That's why I'm down here now. The rope around my neck. The other end tied to the crossbeam. I'll jump off this ladder. The rope will stretch and I'll be dead. Dead. And she'll never make me crazy. Still thundering. If I make a noise, I'll choke. Nobody will hear me. And I'll be dead. And I'll never see her again. Mother died crazy. But I'll die sane. You hear me? Sane. Sane! <laughs> Why don't I do it now? There isn't much time. Jay and the doctor will be coming back. I've got to be dead then. Good and, and dead. Or they'll find out the truth about her. Why don't I do it now? Step off the ladder. It'll be quick. I know it will. The rope will tighten quick. I'll hardly know what happened. Why don't I do it? <laughs> Because I'm afraid. Afraid of dying. Oh, terribly afraid. That's why I've been talking here in the dark. Because I'm afraid. Afraid to die. There'll be just nothing when I'm dead. And I'm afraid of nothing. I've always been afraid of it. When I was a kid, and now... It'll be so dark, empty. Things will go on, the world, 
and I'll have nothing but the dark. W why should I die? Yes, why should I die? If I left this house, she wouldn't follow me, would she? That's all she wants, the house, her Jay. Well, she can have her. I'll go, I'll go right away, far away. They'll never find me, never. <laughs> the rope's so tight around my neck. Gotta get it off. Uh, gotta hurry and get away before Jay and the doctor <clears throat> can't get the rope off. Who? Who's there? Who's coming down the steps? Is that you, Jay? You. You followed me down? How could you? I locked the door! Oh, but then I put the iron lid over you too, didn't I? And, and it didn't do much good. Listen, I'll go away. You hear me? I'll go away. This'll be your house and everything in it. You hear me? All yours again. And Jay, I'll leave her too. <laughs> I won't take anything with me. I'll just go right away, out into the rain. And if I do that, I'll never come back. That'll make everything all right, won't it? No, you don't have to answer. <laughs> I know it's all right. <laughs> you see, I, I was going to kill myself, standing up here, rope around my neck, but, but I won't have to do that now, will I? As long as I'm going away? <laughs> Get the rope off. I'll go. You'll see me go. <sighs> Made the noose so tight, I can't seem to... <gasps> Miss Croker, what are you doing? You're... you're not going to climb up the ladder. No, 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 stay off. Stay off, I tell you. Don't come closer. I can't stand you coming closer. Stay away! The ladder! The ladder will fall! <sighs> the rope, it's still around my neck. If I fall, I'll... <gasps> no. No, you won't. You won't make me die. I've got hold of the rope with my hands. <laughs> I won't choke this way. <laughs> You'll see that... You thing, you... I won't choke. I'll live. I'll hold on to the rope and I'll live. I won't die. I won't. I can't die. It isn't right to die. <laughs> They'll think I killed myself. That isn't right, I tell you. You can't kill yourself. That's a sin. <sighs> I know that now. I know it. I'll live. My arms are strong. I can hold on to the rope above my head for a, for, for a long time. Jay will be home right away. She'll get me down. I'll live. I will. And you'll still be dead. Dead. I'll tell them you fell in the well. They'll believe me. They'll believe me. Well, say something. Say something! I... I... I, I know you're standing there watching me. <laughs> you, you're you waiting. You're waiting for my arms to get tired. So, so I'll let go. But I won't let go. I won't. I won't. <sighs> Jay will be home. She'll be home before... Got to hold on. We'll hold on. I can't let go. I can't hang. Got to live. Got to live. Oh, my arms. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, got to hold on. Got to hold on. Or the noose. The, the noose. Cramp in my arm. Jay. Jay, hurry. Cramp. Cramp in my arm. I can't hold on anymore. Jay, hurry. Jay. I will I wouldn't have killed you. I wouldn't. Jay. Jay. Jay, I can't hold on. I Jay.
Sounds like Ella might have had one too many screws loose. Too bad her noose wasn't. I wonder what Jay will think when she comes home. What will the neighbors say? <laughs> Thank you for listening to this month's episode of Dead Air. Be sure to catch next week's talk back as well. And as always, thank you for your support. See you all next month.